In a small workshop in Virginia Beach, fading images of Americana are being preserved. Not on canvas, not in sculpture. They're preserved as birdhouses. The Birdman of Avalon, as he's called, uses spare time to build cottages, diners, and other creations where birds can rest their wings. The Birdman sees his craft as a type of therapy, a break from the daily grind. He likes to incorporate humor into his work and gets inspiration from a noteworthy source. La, la, la. I do a lot of things that are in the Buffett theme, beach shacks and that sort of thing. I listen to him a lot while I'm out here. It's a hobby that I picked up about two and a half years ago. My son and daughter sometimes help me in the quest for pieces for the birdhouse. I've used everything from uh, small lights out of blinking hats and uh, film canisters for trash cans. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. You guys know Margaritaville, right? Searching for my lost shaker of salt. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame. All right, we're going to bring it on home now. Uh, oh, damn, Paul. We're better birdhouse makers than we are singers. Yeah. Way better. All right. One here I'm working on is a trailer out of the 1950s. We'll cut our hole here for the entrance to the birdhouse. I'll lay a tin roof. And then I like to put the uh, tail lights in the back of the trailer so that they, they light up, run on batteries. It's the imagination. I think anybody can make a birdhouse, but I think the, the difference is I like the detailing. Now wait, wait, wait. Don't put it in yet. First of all, we got to get all this caulk out of the window. It's a therapy is all it is. I'll come out here and uh, spend a few hours with the uh, eight tracks and I'm ready to go to bed and sleep good. Another one that I'm working on is my uh, Jerry Garcia one. You flip the glasses up and there's the two eye holes that the, the birds can enter through. Garcia's death brought that about and I just kind of a, my own uh, birdhouse tribute to it. I think it's real important to enjoy life. You're on a short trip so you better enjoy your trip. Always have, a, have something that you can go back to uh, that is a respite. In other words, a, a way to get away from uh, the outside world and kind of have your own world. That's a license plate birdhouse that I uh, built for my daughter. Probably one of the first that I ever did that uh, kind of inspired the starting of the birdhouses. We'll let them weather maybe six months to a year because it, it, it does add a lot to it with the weather wood. This one's Big Otto's Chili Pit. This one's from Ohio around the Cincinnati area. And the humor in this one is, see the out to lunch sign here? So Big Otto eats elsewhere, I guess. He never does close except when he's out to lunch. A lot of the past stuff that has dwindled from across America, I, I try to re recreate in the birdhouses. Uh, I did a Route 66 series, drive-in theaters, uh, diners, gas stations. And that was the main highway through the United States, and uh, all, all of that built up along it. That's had a couple families raised in it, too. Any of the nostalgic ones or the older pieces, I try to add a little bit of uh, something that's beyond the ordinary birdhouse the lights and the umbrella and the old 57 Chevy. I try to tie it all together in, into one theme. I'd like to bring back a little bit of the past. I think that people do like to relive a little bit of the nostalgia. And this is a bit of Americana that's pretty much gone, but people still like to remember it. It's great. The Birdman of Avalon is also known around his neighborhood as Ron Spear. You might say Ron's hobby is for the birds, but don't underestimate his work. Although his birdhouses are sold locally, they're taking off in flocks. Like his feathery clients, his creations may soon be popping up all over the South. This Sunset Drive-In was in my hometown, Evansville, Indiana. I went to that drive-in many times. The nice thing I like about this one is the lights across the top. And we have uh, Humphrey Bogart's uh, Casablanca on film. 